Electric vehicles promise a cleaner future, but recent fire incidents are causing some serious anxiety. Are these isolated cases, or is there a reason to be worried? In this video, we will examine headlines about EVs catching fire at an alarming rate and the truth about exploding electric cars. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Electric vehicles seem to be hitting a rough patch worldwide. Reports are pouring in about these cars going up in flames for no apparent reason. According to China's emergency management department folks, things have turned fiery. In the first quarter of 2023, an average of eight EVs went ablaze daily. That's a 32% increase compared to earlier periods. And if that wasn't eyebrow raising enough, there's more. A Lee Auto car smashes into a colossal truck and bam, the pillars holding up the car's roof and doors crumble like a house of cards. Now, if you think that's wild, just wait till you hear about the Qingwen L7 accident in Guangdong. It's not just the accidents themselves that have folks scratching their heads, it's how easily those car pillars gave in. We have a few more cases to discuss. Essex County Fire and Rescue Service swooped into the rescue at a salvage yard on Brickfields Way in Rockford. Reports flooded in around 8.47 p.m. signaling the ignition of eight cars, all presumably going up in flames. Thankfully, the firefighters sprang into action swiftly, containing the inferno before it could wreak more havoc. But the plot thickens. The culprit behind this fiery spectacle? An electric vehicle fault. Yes, an electric vehicle, not your usual suspect when it comes to car fires, turned out to be the prime suspect. Essex Fire Service's investigation fingered an EV fault as the igniting spark, shedding light on the unexpected cause of the blaze. As the fire raged on, crews from Rockford, Southend, and Lee raced against time to tame the flames. Temporary watch manager Stephen Gabriel commended their efforts and acknowledged their role in preventing a potential disaster. He remarked, firefighters have done an excellent job to contain the fire and stop it from spreading to surrounding areas. But let's not forget the visual drama. A snapshot from the scene reveals an electric vehicle engulfed in flames with a Toyota, Land Rover, and Fiat parked ominously in the foreground. It's the stuff of adrenaline-pumping action movies. It isn't the first time Purdy's industrial estate has witnessed such fiery theatrics. Just a few moons ago, in August 2023, over 200 vehicles met a similar fate, turning the scrapyard into a blazing inferno. The aftermath saw 11 fire crews and 60 firefighters battling the flames, urging locals to close their windows to keep the smoke at bay. Now, onto the numbers game. Data from the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agencies tells a revealing tale. Only 23 EV fire incidents out of a total fleet of 611,000 electric cars. Talk about a drop in the ocean. Compare that to the 34,000 fires from the 4.4 million petrol and diesel cars, and suddenly, electric cars seem like the heroes of the hour, being 20 times less likely to go up in flames. But wait, there's a twist in the plot. A horror blaze at Lutton Airport car park, leaving around 1,500 cars charred. The suspect was a diesel Range Rover. In its wake, nearly 16,500 jittery drivers bombarded the parking operator APCOA with queries fearing they might be the next in line for a fiery farewell. So, it looks like a real-life action movie playing out on the roads, but electric vehicles are starring. Cars burst into flames left, right, and center, and then there's this bizarre scene of car pillars collapsing at the mere sight of a truck. It's what you'd expect to see on the big screen, not on your daily commute. But jokes aside, these incidents are no laughing matter. They're raising serious concerns about the safety and durability of electric vehicles. When you're zipping around in your EV, the last thing you want to worry about is it spontaneously combusting or falling apart like a poorly made Lego set. Moreover, passenger safety goes beyond just having airbags. It's all about having a solid and sturdy body to rely on. When there are no pillars to lean on, passengers are left vulnerable and exposed. Take for instance the recent case of a tiny X-Ping car catching fire while simply passing over a stone. Now, one might expect severe collisions to spark fires, but it's downright unacceptable for a little encounter with a stone to set the car's underside battery pack ablaze. This incident, the second of its kind within a month, has raised some serious doubts about the safety of X-Ping cars. People wonder if the company needs to step up its game in research, development, and safety testing. Some people on the internet aren't even batting an eyelid, suggesting that those pesky lithium batteries must be at fault. As the Chinese Communist Party CCP pushes for the development of what they call new energy vehicles, 
The country's EV inventory has skyrocketed to a staggering 20.4 million. Safety concerns are more pertinent than ever with such a massive fleet of electric vehicles on the roads. It's high time for manufacturers to ensure that their cars are environmentally friendly and safe for passengers to ride in. Now again, when it comes to electric vehicles, there's a snag lurking around the corner, lithium batteries. These batteries, while powering up our rides, also bring along a risk of charging accidents. According to the pros in the industry, these battery pack fires often cause trouble during charging, whether it's a glitch in manufacturing or the inability to zap away static electricity completely, it can lead to short circuits, sparks, or even full-blown fires. And with more people hopping onto the electric bandwagon, you can bet your bottom dollar that these safety incidents will be on the rise. But wait, there's more. New energy electric vehicles have a knack for attracting trouble, not just with fires, but with handling less than ideal weather too. Just take the Chinese New Year travel season in 2024, for example. The country was hit with the nastiest rain, snow, and freezing weather it had seen in a decade and a half. And guess what? Electric cars took the brunt of it, leaving many stranded on the highways. Even when parked, these electric wonders faced the risk of going kaput due to power outages. Now, drivers are forced to play it cool with batteries, guzzling power like there's no tomorrow and a scarcity of charging stations along the way. Instead of cranking up the heaters to beat the chill, they tough it out in the cold. And let me tell you, it's no walk in the park. EV drivers twiddling their thumbs waiting for a tow truck to rescue them from their icy plight. And for the really adventurous ones, there's always the option of pushing their electric chariots for miles on end in search of a charging oasis. Now, let's talk about some real issues regarding all this. One big problem that is making safety concerns worse is that EV owners don't want to fix their damaged battery packs. The ridiculously high repair costs, sometimes even more than what the car is worth, discourage owners from dealing with possible safety risks. It's clear that EV owners face some serious financial challenges and high expenses when trying to make sure their cars are safe and working after an accident. Dealing with EV fires is a complex issue affecting car manufacturers worldwide, not just in the United States. Electric cars have many things to consider, like charging issues, equipment problems, and environmental impacts. Chargers can cause problems too, like overcharging and faulty equipment, resulting in the batteries getting too hot. As a result, firefighting techniques might not work as well. Furthermore, using chargers that are not compatible can make safety risks worse, which could lead to fires even when electric vehicles are not being used. Plus, dealing with the aftermath of EV fires has been highlighted by recent incidents, which have also revealed the possibility of reignition creating additional challenges for first responders. Alongside safety concerns, the environmental effects of lithium-ion batteries add to the difficulties faced by those dealing with EV fires, as they release harmful fumes and gases. Dealing with the worries about EV fires is a common challenge for American automakers and China, a major player in the global EV industry. BYD, a Chinese EV company, has decided to stop making pouch-type batteries, a design that has raised concerns among industry experts. Watch out for those pouch-type batteries wrapped in thin aluminum films. They can be a real hazard with leaks and fires. BYD is shifting its attention to replace those batteries with prismatic batteries designed for improved safety. These batteries are designed to tackle the safety concerns of making electric vehicles using strong materials to ensure durability. Fire risks are still a big challenge for Tesla, even though they are a leading company in the electric vehicle industry. Even after over 10 years of making electric vehicles, Tesla still deals with occasional vehicle fires. As you know, there have been a couple of incidents in 2019 involving a Model S in the United States and another one in Shanghai. These incidents highlight the challenges of reducing fire risks in electric vehicles. So, what do you think about this alarming situation regarding EVs? Share your thoughts with us and check out the channel for more interesting videos. See you in the next video.